felt like I was doing so well that time. Hey, it's Rob from Two Dandy Gamers, and today we're going to play a little bit of Emily Wants to Play. Uh, it's a horror game. Uh, I don't actually know too much about it. Um, but I'm ready to get the blood pumping this morning, so let's uh, get that heart racing a little bit. <laughs> Fun pack, horror games are one of my favorites. Hello? Your pizza's here! I'm a pizza delivery person. I should not be going to this house. Darkest hell in there. Acting creepy like that, I might want to as well. All that stuff here is gone.
Here before. I don't trust you. You're all seeing this, right? I am trapped in the bathroom with this creepy ass doll. I cannot open the door. Absolutely not. I see you lurking in that shadow. I've got two light switches right here. I'm going to just chill. I will do the opposite of what that board says. flashlight somewhere. don't stay still so I assume the, the purpose is to stay in place <laughs> Whew. get the heart going this morning just stay perfectly still at least it starts me at one again Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> Don't move. Sing perfectly still. <sighs> Let's uh, take a look through the house. See what uh, see what we can find. All right. So there's a flashlight. Ever since we moved in, Emily started acting different. She really liked our old house, but we, we got a little moved. bit of story here. I guess it really stressed her out. I don't know. I've already been in there. There is nothing. It's been over a month now, and the police still haven't found any leads on the bizarre death. neighbors <laughs> jogging by. I didn't even see her. All right, that's BS. I was in the corner of a room looking out and I could not see her. So I guess, yeah, she can apparently spawn behind me. Even in a corner. Whew. That, uh, that one actually gave me quite a, quite a scare. <laughs> it's been over a month now and the police still haven't found any leads on the bizarre death of a local couple. The couple was found lifeless in their living room as neighbors were jogging by. The front door was wide open and the bodies could be easily seen from the street. There were no signs of forced entry and the police have ruled out burglary as a motive. Neither body had any injuries and the cause of death could not be determined by the coroner. It seemed as though the residents were preparing to move. The police have yet to find any leads. The house has been boarded up while the investigation continues. <laughs> Dark, so I can't tell when he's <sighs> despawned. I don't hear him, so I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so looks like a flashlight's not in the bedroom. Great. Okay, there she is. As long as I'm looking at her, she can't come get me. So I'm not seeing anything in there. <laughs> okay, so I should be safe now. So now I've got the flashlight. So that'll help, especially with the uh, lights continually going out. Oh, that is much nicer. <laughs> I thought she'd be spawn. I could get why the clown guy would kill me. I definitely moved the camera around. But that was that was her death scene. Or her kill screen, not his. So either she came back and I did not realize it, or there is a glitch in the game. I think it just wanted to mix things up for me. Keep me on my toes. I was doing good that round too. Okay. Oh, but I get to keep the flashlight, so that's nice. Vegetable peeler, or oh, it's a knife. 
What the hell was that? I don't think I want to go in there. I think I will stay right here in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, shit, where is she? Where is she? Uh, okay, so the kitchen is a terrible place to stand, apparently. Okay, Vork has all the tips on this game. I just want to give a shout out to you for uh, all the help that you are providing at this moment. It doesn't seem to be helping me too much, but... <laughs> I do appreciate it. Let's find a room that I can see my way around. I mean, the bathroom's pretty small, but I feel like I've got a... A... <laughs> Or maybe the hall. Because at least with the hall, I only have two directions that I have to face. I can either face this way, or that way. Although if she shows it me... Okay. Oh, no, the hall is a terrible place to stand, apparently. Because there is... No room on either side if she's to spawn right behind me. <laughs> oh, great. It's gonna chill in here for a little bit. Is she still there? Are you still out here? <laughs> oh. No, but he is. <laughs> so she seems to be gone. He is gone. Oh, shit. I heard her laugh. I didn't see where she was. Oh, yep, there she was. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'm playing on the PlayStation. And uh, I know this game is also available on Steam. So I kind of wish I were actually on a... PC right now because it's a little difficult to line up the targeting reticule to do things like turn on the lights. Shoot, I don't know where she is. Oh my god, this is the longest hour ever. Okay, I will at least get to 2 o'clock today. Especially because midnight seems relatively quick and painless. I know if this is the best room to be in. Oh, where are you? Oh, she always spawns behind me. The problem is sometimes she laughs while I'm in the middle of turning which uh, makes that little tidbit of information about where she spawns so, so hard to figure out. But I guess if it were easy, it wouldn't be very much fun, would it? <laughs> See, like right there, I was about to turn the corner when she laughed. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, she can also immediately respawn behind me. So I'm never safe. That or the game feels sorry for me and is deciding I should focus on one person rather than both her and the clown. <laughs> Okay, actually, I may end up hanging out here for a little bit. Because if I'm... <laughs> if I'm chilling here, then I know that she will spawn in the room behind me. And if she respawns again, then she's at the other end of the hall. Which buys me just that split second to turn back around. Do you have a favorite spot? You, uh to gravitate towards in this game. <laughs> yeah, this is working quite nicely. <laughs> I've got both of them right now. <laughs> the kitchen seemed like it was a pretty solid place, except for the island, where I couldn't see uh, if something was on the other side of it or not. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to make it. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, two o'clock. <laughs> well, I felt like that was never going to come. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go check out what's on the board. Just turn on all the lights. Don't run from Chester. Alright, so I'm going to get my happy ass as far away from Chester as I can. <laughs> That's a clown. <laughs> I don't know who Chester is. <laughs> you see the shadow of the clown <laughs> down there. I feel like so far this is my safest spot. If I need to run, there's enough room here to run from anyone. Chester? Oh, I heard that. That is a new voice. Oh shit, okay. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Are they chasing? gonna run. <laughs> okay. 
Don't move. <laughs> that didn't move. That was the door pushing me. I haven't seen the girl in a while. I wish that clock moved so you had some sort of sense of your progress in the level. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so unfair, he kept respawning. I heard him laugh, and then he'd laugh, and then he laughed again. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was unfair. I had to run and stay still. It's so hard when that clown is right out of camera range. You can just see him. My human instinct is to take a look right at it. She is just standing in the window. But if she's there, then will she also appear behind me? This door has one handle, but it has two strike plates. Oh, I should probably... <laughs> oh my god, I ran right into him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I haven't a clue what you're to do when Chester spawns and runs after you, and you're also supposed to be still with the clown. Can't look around. <laughs> Just stay perfectly still. the girl giggle in quite a while. I don't know if she makes an appearance this hour or not. Oh 
started a little horror so hopefully we'll uh get a chance to come back to this game uh i got a ton of help um so i want to say thanks again yeah we'll come back we'll check this game out uh we'll check out some more uh horror games in the future i've enjoyed what i've played thus far and so i'm excited to come back and try it again until then remember stay dandy Thank you.